The keeper of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s legacy, meet Coretta Scott King. Coretta was born in 1927 in segregated Marion, Alabama. She experienced devastating racism when at age 15, her family home was destroyed by arsonists. She studied political activism and later music at a conservatory in Boston. It was there that she met a theology student by the name of Martin Luther King Jr. Coretta and Martin found a common interest in Gandhi's example of nonviolent protest. They married in 1953 and moved to Montgomery, Alabama, where Martin served as a reverend and earned his theology doctorate. When Rosa Parks refused to surrender her bus seat to a white person in 1955, Coretta became a national civil rights figure alongside her husband. We found ourselves in the middle of the Montgomery bus boycott and Martin was elected leader of the protest movement. As the boycott continued, I had a growing sense I was involved in something so much greater than myself. In 1956, when she was home alone with her newborn daughter and a family friend, the front porch was destroyed by a homemade bomb. Despite that, she carried on. You have an inner peace and a satisfaction if you feel that you are uh, doing the right thing and doing what God intends for you to do. Dr. King's peaceful protests and inspirational words moved millions. Through it all, Coretta was there in solidarity. She also led a series of her own demonstrations in the form of freedom concerts. On April 4, 1968, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated in Memphis, Tennessee. Coretta vowed to continue as an activist, founding the Martin Luther King Jr. Center. The world is in dire need of a spiritual awakening which will make those eternal values of love, justice, mercy, and peace meaningful in our time. In 1983, President Reagan signed legislation establishing a national holiday to honor Dr. King, a direct result of Coretta's tireless efforts. She also lent her support to countless other causes, including nuclear disarmament, anti-apartheid, and gay and lesbian rights. One of the reasons I wanted to join you today is to affirm my wholehearted support of freedom from discrimination for lesbian and gay people. Coretta passed away in 2006, but her legacy lives on as well. Her daughter, Dr. Bernice King, carries on as the CEO of the Martin Luther King Jr. Center. <laughs>